All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanna go over the OSI model and how does the OSI model work and all that cool stuff. So when I first got started into networking, that this was the first thing I actually learned and I was just like, wow, this is this is all interesting. Like, um, you know, it's cool, um, but like, what, like how does it work and all that stuff. So let's, uh, let's start off with layer one. And for layer one, I actually have some layer one equipment here. So I have some cables and this is an SFP and I should have my router there. We'll say that for layer three, by the way. So layer one, layer one is called the physical layer, right? The physical layer. And what I'm, the physical layer is physical, like physical things. Like you can see it, you can touch it. You can, you can actually look at it. This is the physical layer, right? So this is, um, I don't know what kind of cable this is. This is an RJ45 cable. Um, I don't know how fast it is, but just know that it's an RJ45 cable that you plug in to um, basically into this device here. So this is just a router. Um, and this is also, you know, the physical devices of the router is actually the physical layer. So whenever someone says, hey, the router is down, do they mean the, they may say, hey, layer one of the router is down. That means the whole router is down, right? Like it's broken. Like I, I pretty much like jammed it with a with pretty much like a pen or something. But so we have all these things. These are the, these are things that we do as a network engineer, and these are physical items. So um, basically, you have these ports. You plug them in, um, and you know once you connect it, you know when, when people say, "Hey, layer one's not working," it can be because of these physical cables that are not connected. So let's go ahead and connect this cable here. We see it clicked in, and I'll just connect it here as well. Um, and you can, we just looped it together, but. You can see here, this is the physical layer. This is what we do physically on the device, right? It's very simple. It's the easiest layer, in my opinion, to understand, but it's also the coolest layer as well. But, uh, but yeah, so these this is an SFP. This is something that you connect uh, fiber optical cables into. So you have basically lasers, and you can see here there's like lasers inside. I don't know if you can see it or not, uh, but basically, um, the I don't have to have the, the lasers, but you connect the cable in here, which you connect into the switch, right? Or, or into the router. So these are all part of the layer um, one of the OSI model. So it's really cool. Um, it's awesome. So, so yeah, so that's layer one, physical layer, right? Um, and the whole idea is we are maintaining um, and troubleshooting this part of it, right? So now let's go on to the next layer, which is called the data link layer, right? So the data link layer, uh, this is a layer where we are finally going from physical things to now, you know, like something that we can't really see, which is like, a, you know, MAC addressing, right? Or, or this is the actual layer where basically the data or the data that comes from these cables gets transcoded into actual data now, right? That in terms of the frames, right? These are frames and these frames are basically within the local area network. So um, this is where protocols like ARP, are involved, right? Um, LLDP, right? These are CDP, right? These sort of protocols are involved within layer two. So layer two, basically, it's all about MAC addressing. Um, and basically, it's only within local area networks. So MAC, so it's only communication between, you know, a router, or uh, sorry, not a router, there's no routers involved in this uh, part, it's basically just switches, right? Um, and I want to bring up one more thing about uh, layer one, there's also something called uh, radio waves, which is basically, um, basically like all like Wi-Fi signals. That's also layer one. That's not, that's not like layer three or anything like that. Don't to not get it confused. Um, but this device in part of layer two, as you can see here, it has some local area network ports right here. So we can see some ports here. Um, and these ports are what are known as local area network ports. So as soon as I connect this device, we can actually have con a communication, um, between different routers or different, um, or different switches and, and, and devices, um, from layer two. Right, and that's where MAC addressing is involved. Um, that's where uh, basically, you know, this is the layer where it turns physical stuff into actual data. That's the whole point of it. And and basically, it's every every time we go up a layer, it's going to get more intelligent because um, now we're going to go into layer three, the layer three of the OSI model, which is called the network layer. Okay, so the network layer, this is the layer, the biggest layer. This is the layer we spend the most amount of time on. This is the layer where we have the ability to communicate with other networks. So basically, this is where it involves IP addressing, subnetting. I know everyone hates subnetting, um, but basically, this is a layer of the internet. So um, how can we have communication from this router to another router in uh, Japan, 
right? That's what the network layer is going to do. Um, it adds IP addressing to it. And basically, this is where we have routers, we have routing, uh, we have routing tables where we have routers that can make decisions on how to route packets. So that is where we have this device that helps us do that for us. So this is actually a modem. This can actually do um, layer two and, I, and layer uh, three. But, you know, and because it actually, you could actually see, even see layer one because it has the access point. So it kind of does everything. But the whole purpose of this is it can actually connect to another router in a different area by having a routing table, right? It's a really cool process. And that's kind of what this does. Um, but yeah, that's part of layer three of the OSI model. It's the network layer being able to communicate with devices in other local area networks. So we have my own local area network here. How do I can communicate with another one in a different city? We're going to have to use a network layer, right? But every time we move up the layers, it adds more intelligence to it. There's more information in the, in the data. Um, and now the types of data that's being sent within the network layer are called packets, packets, okay? And that's where it contains information, basically. And it just sends that information out, like the source address and the, and the uh, destination IP address and stuff like that. Like I said, I want to make this very high level, but and that's kind of what, what the network layer is. Now, the next layer is called the uh, transport layer, okay? So the transport layer, like what, what is the transport layer and how can we use it? So transport layer pretty much involves um, port numbers, right? This is where it adds port numbers um, and it also adds um, two protocols, either TCP or UDP. So these are going to decide how are we going to send the data, right? How are we going to transport it at the end of the day? Um, and those, those are the two main protocols, TCP and UDP, right? So basically TCP is basically more, more secure, more uh, slower, uh, but more stable. UDP is quick, fast. So basically, it's going to decide, are you having a phone call? Like what kind of data are you sending a phone call? Or are you just web browsing? So it's going to decide and make a decision based off that. And then it's going to just choose the port number. So port numbers are basically the types of protocols you're going to be using. And it's going to slap a port number, which is going to be the type of protocol. For example, if you're trying to connect into SSH, it's going to add port 22. Uh, if you're trying to HTTP, it's going to be port 80. It's going to decide what your what activity you're doing, and it's going to set, slap a or go into a port number um, and decide that. So that's kind of what port numbers are. The next layer now is called the session layer, right? So the session layer is all about establishing a session. At the end of the day, we're trying to establish a session and make sure the session is stable. So make sure, like, let's say you re you remote into a a server using SSH, right? It's going to make sure that session is established and actually stable as well. Um, and really, layer five and layer six, we don't really talk much about. They're very low key. Like, no one as a network engineer, we don't even really care about these layers. I mean, we do care, but like, I have never had to troubleshoot layer five or six, in my opinion. Um, but I, maybe you guys have, and, and I would like to learn more if you guys have, but five and six are, are pretty much like just not to say they're filler layers, but like they're just extra layers that, you know, they added to, in my opinion. Um, and, and there are condensed versions of the, of the OSI model, by the way, there is like the TCP IP model, which kind of condenses layer four through seven. Um, but yeah, but anyways, but this is something you still have to know because during interviews, you're always going to be asked about the OSI model and stuff like that. So next layer is the, um, so we did session. Now it's the presentation layer, right? The presentation layer essentially is a layer that is going to show you how, how are you going to present the data? Like, how are you going to compress it? How are we going to transcode it? Um, right. You have this packet of data, right? How are we going to present it? Is it a JPEG? Okay. Let's, let's present that JPEG, right? Um, this is also a layer where we have like, um, like security, right? Like there's also like you know, encryption involved. This is where SSL is involved as well as TLS. These are the two main security protocols or encryption protocols. Um, and that's kind of where that's involved. So that's kind of that. Um, and then the last layer is the, um, application layer. So this is where the user sees, this is basically where protocols like DNS, HTTP is involved. Um, this is the main last layer of the OSI model. This is the layer where, you know, if you, you know, and at the end of the day, like when it comes to these layers, layer, if layer one doesn't work, everything above it is not going to work. So like if, if the cable is not connected, you're not going to be able to connect to a website, right? So they all build on top of each other. So it starts from layer one, all the way to layer seven, I mean, layer seven, like I said, is an application layer. This is a layer where it's where you can finally use that, what you're, what you're trying to do. Right. Um, that's pretty much the, the very high level parity much of what we're doing. So those are the layers of the OSI model. And remember they all build up on top of each other. So if you're ever confused, just know that layer one is the dumbest layer. It's just, just physical stuff. Like it, it can't do anything yet. 
and then layer two, that's where it can actually turn into data. Then layer three, that's where it can actually decide on where how it's going to, you know, route traffic, how where it's going to go to. Then layer four, then port numbers and, and and TCP, UDP, and then obviously you go up layers. It adds more data, more security, more encryption, all that stuff, right? So that's kind of the, the layers of the OSI model, right? Um, how did I go about learning this? It took some time, right? Um, I don't recommend just memorizing. I, I, I highly recommend just understanding what is going on. Because if you actually understand it, then you don't have to memorize it. I know some people are just trying to memorize it and be like, ah, oh, session, presentation, application. Oh, don't do that. Just focus on learning it and understanding it because it makes sense the more you do it. It's going to make sense. Like layer, layer one, physical, that's easy. Layer two, MAC addressing, easy. Then three, data. Or la la layer three, um, like packets, right? Takes time to learn. Takes time to understand. Um, watch videos on how the internet works and it's going to make sense. Trust me. But don't just focus on memorizing. Focus on understanding the layers, right? So uh, this has been a, a quite a fun video. <laughs> um, and if you guys like this video, please give it a like. Uh, but if you guys want help and mentorship on how to land a network engineering position, um, please click the link down below and I can show you exactly how to get in. Um, and if you guys like this video, please feel free to subscribe. If you guys have a comment or you guys enjoy these types of videos, please comment below and tell me what you guys think. Um, but thank you guys so much for your time. It really does mean a lot. And peace.